What's up guys, Bull here bringing you a brand new Fast and Furious car remake. In today's remake, I am bringing you the 2015 Ford Mustang GT350 that Jacob Toretto drives in F9 or Fast and Furious 9. This car won out the debate on my community little tab I posted about what you guys would like to see next. This and another build, so you'll probably see the other build as well. But I thought I would go over this one. This was highly requested by a lot of people, and I'll definitely put that on screen right now as many as I can real quick. And yeah, let's just get right into the build. I think it turned out decent. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, why are you using the GTX instead of just the regular Dominator? Mainly because this has more like a body style to the actual real life car than the actual Dominator has. So that's why I went for this. I think it turned out really nice. I actually asked Bad Sport about the color. Kind of went over a few things with him and uh, this is what I came up with. So hopefully it turned out good. Hopefully I don't get too much hate on the build. I know it doesn't have the white stripe down the middle. I know just like Dom's doesn't have, you know, the exact stripes and everything for his build as well. But, you know, this is what we had to work with in GT Online. You got to take what you can get. So, as we always do, we're going to start off with the base price. You want to go to the internet. You want to go to up here to the Travel and Transport website. You want to go down to the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. Then you want to go up here and click the two-door option. Then you want to go down and you want to find the Vapid Dominator GTX, part of the S8 Super Sport series. If you're not familiar with the car, it's pretty cheap. It's $725,000. You're probably thinking, that is not cheap. Well, it for most other builds costing a couple million yeah this is pretty cheap so seven hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for this build i think it's based around a ford mustang as well as a dodge charger it's like a newer style i could be wrong on that people can roast me down in the comments but that is what i believe it was based on like the base body style they mixed the two together and created this hybrid i guess so anyways once you have your car and you have your color meet us at the los santos car meet location now i thought i'd just come here because again it's more lively more lifelike it's more people friendly plus people can you know watch me customize the build they can show up in here again it's just more lively more like it just feels like a more fast and furious you know style to it i guess you know with all the cars street race like meat and everything it's it's really cool so but anyways without wasting any more time let's get in and customize the beauty so the vapid dominator gtx is in the muscle category i mean that should be self-explanatory it is a muscle car of some sort Again, I believe it's based around a certain year Ford Mustang as well as a certain year uh, Dodge Charger of some sort mixed together. It's a really interesting hybrid, I should say. That's, that's what I'm going to say about this build. So, as I always go over in all my builds, I go over the overall look, the visual appearance, and the basic design, the car and how it's portrayed in the movie, game, or anywhere else in general itself. Anything I don't go over is completely up to you. I just put a few staples in on my build. If you want to recreate my build or take some things away from my build to add your own, you're more than welcome to. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the build. So to start things off, you want to go to the front bumpers and you just want to keep that stock. I didn't think it had like a splitter or anything like extended on the actual front bumper. Keeping it stock makes it look better in my personal opinion. And I think it's the best option for the build. After that, move on to the exhaust. You just want to keep them stock. I believe it were either like big exhaust like this or double exhaust. I don't know exactly what they were based on because there's not too much information floating around about this build, about this car. There are a few parts in the movie where you can kind of see the back end a little bit where he kind of steals something in the jungle. And then also when he's actually like boosting the jump off of the side of the cliff and everything. So my best choice is to keep it stock. All the other exhausts are just, they're kind of weird. I don't know. So yeah, best option in my opinion, just keep it stock. From there, move on to the fenders. You want to go with the stock fenders. It didn't have any like wide body to it. it. It doesn't look right with this wide body like option. It's just, I don't know, it's very weird. It doesn't fit the build all that well. And I would just 100% just keep it stock. From there, move on to the grill. You just want to keep that stock as well. It kind of had like a mesh grill. It didn't have like any kind of razor sharp pieces on the front of the grill or like any kind of special grill to it. It was just pretty much like a stock mesh grill, I would say. But again, it's hard to see. So again, I'm just going off of basic design of the main car in real life, as well as possible modifications that they could do to it. And the closest thing I can get with is just the stock grill. So, so far, mainly pretty much most of this car is stock, if not majority is stock. But after that, we move on to the hood. You want to go with the vented hood scoop because it did have a big, nice hood scoop on the front. And unfortunately, we can't get it a perfect or exact. It's almost exactly like uh, Dom's charger build that I did. It just doesn't look right. But I mean, it's about the closest thing we can get. I mean, it's just it's kind of weird. But at the same time, it does fit the build. It works for the build. And it's just my best option is the vented hood scoop. 
from there move on to the lights you want to go to headlights i just kept them stock i mean during the day they didn't have their headlights on i didn't see no headlights on during the movie for the, the ford mustang and all that so i would just keep them stock at the most you could go with probably white lights but me personally i'm just gonna keep them stock so there you go just keep them stock after that move on to the neon kits neon lamps gonna be none because i don't believe it had any neon again during the day most likely they won't have their neon on plus i mean in the later movies they kind of ditched or kind of got rid of the neon so i mean yeah no more neon on cars unfortunately kind of makes me sad but uh yeah just no neon on the build after that move on to the mud guards you just want to keep that none didn't have no mud guards i think it would kind of look pretty cool with some mud guards but unfortunately it didn't have any so i would just remove them and make sure they're just on none after that move on to the plate me personally i went with a yellow and black and i put on the 1327 family style plate and you're probably thinking jacob is not part of the family in the beginning of the movie in the middle of the movie no but during the end, yes, he is part of the family. He's Dom's, you know, little brother and all that. So there you go. He didn't show a plate on the car at all because, you know, they're supposed to, like, be people that don't care about the laws and all that. So, I mean, you could probably put any kind of plate on you want. I put the yellow and black plate on because it kind of matched the bumper. And it's kind of, in my opinion, it kind of fades away. If you add, like, a blue one, you can kind of stick it out. And if you don't add a white one, it definitely does stick out a lot. So me personally, I went with the yellow and black and I went with my custom plate 1327 because again, at the end of the movie, he became family. After that, move on to the rear panel. I went with none. I didn't see any change on it. I mean, at the most, it could possibly be like a blacked out rear panel. But again, for the most of the movie, we don't see the back end of this car. And, and most of the background screenshots and videos and stuff I've seen, you don't see the back end of this car. So I would think for the most part, it would be none. It would just be the stock color of the car and all that. So I would just keep it none personally. Same respray for last, we move on to the roof. I went with the stripped roof. The main stock roof, kind of like a piece missing out of the middle. It's kind of like raised up or ridged up, I guess, to an extent. So you want to keep it nice and smooth, in my personal opinion. So you just want to go with that nice stripped roof. It keeps it nice, smooth, and symmetrical all the way across on top. And that's pretty much what the car looked like and had. So stripped roof is my best option for this. After that, move on to the skirts. Again, just keep them stock. Didn't see any extended skirts on the car or anything like that. I would say for the most part, the bill was semi stock, but it did have some modifications, you know, custom rims a spoiler on there custom hood on there a little bit too i think because the real life card actually doesn't come with that kind of hood and maybe like a few other things it definitely had nos and everything so so yeah for me for the skirts i would just keep them stock i don't see a point in adding or spending a little bit of money where you don't really need to and yeah that's that's what i would go for just keep them stock after that move on to the spoiler now this is my option and my choice for the spoiler is the carbon gt spoiler he had like a black spoiler and i know the actual like design was more kind of like along the lines of this but unfortunately i kind of go by what the design of the actual spoiler and how it's attached and everything too as you can see it's attached through the middle and in the actual picture i'm going to show you might be able to see it's more like widespread not like stuck closer together in the middle so the one i think works the best is the carbon gt spoiler it kind of still does get that look a little bit you can kind of get the fins and everything it's not overpowering it's not a big giant wing like you know something like this or something so in my personal opinion the carbon gt spoiler is the best option but again you can choose what you wish and it's your build so do what you want with it after that move on to the suspension i would keep it stock you know me and muscle cars i don't really lower it all that much if anything you could lower it down to lowered but me personally i think it just was stock the ride height looked about the same and everything so yeah i would just keep it stock after that move on to the turbo i would honestly add a turbo to it i'm sure it was probably supercharged of some sort i would think I mean, I didn't hear any whine to it or anything or like a blow off valve of a turbo, but most likely my best guess is it probably was supercharged to an extent. If you don't want to add a turbo, it's, you're more than welcome not to, but I will say adding a turbo to this thing, it might give it a little bit more get up and go power because unfortunately this thing still does have the rev limiter. They didn't fix this car. They fixed a lot of other ones, but they did not fix this one. Hey, look, you guys customizing a car over there. But yeah, they didn't fix this one, so I think adding a turbo, even though it is pretty slow still, is still a better option and better choice to do. Plus, we save a little bit of money at the beginning. Why not spend a little bit more money on performance? 
After that, move on to the wheels. You want to go to wheel type. You want to go down here to the street category, and you want to go with the concave racer rims. Now, I know a lot of people are going to give me flack for this. They're not, like, all the way straight out and everything. They're kind of in V-shape. I know, but at least it has a decent amount of rims. It does have a chrome kind of lip around it a little bit, as you can see there. But, I mean, you can still make them all black and everything, and I think it looks really cool, especially when driving down the road. It fits really well for the build. I know other people might go with some other rims that maybe have less spokes or something on it. It, but i think that these really fit the best so this is the one i went for is the concave racer you guys can choose what you wish maybe even give me some suggestions of what you went for or what you maybe think looks better but me personally i think the concave racer rims look the best after that move on to the wheel color you just want to go with black they were nice dark black rims which looked really cool especially with the contrast to the dark color of the car after that, move on to the tires. You want to go to tire design. You just want to keep them stock. Didn't have no tire text or anything custom like that. So don't worry about adding stuff like that. From there, move on to the tire enhancements. You probably just want to go with standard tires. It definitely wasn't drifting, so I wouldn't add low grips to it. And most likely, it, they didn't have reinflation or bulletproof tires. I know it's GT Online. You can add bulletproof tires on if you wish. But I mean, if you're trying to recreate it for a collection or to kind of like showcase a car as it actually was in real life and maybe in the movie, I would definitely go with standard tires. But again, GT Online, bulletproof tires is a viable option, and I understand it quite well. So, completely your choice in what you want to do. I'm going to go with standard tires. After that, move on to the tire smoke. You just want to go with the white tire smoke. I don't see a point in changing this. The two tire smokes I usually go for is white and black, and it's mainly because of how they are in the movie. So, yeah, white tire smoke, best option for this build. After that, move on to the windows. You want to go with none. He didn't have a window tint on his car. I thought maybe a little bit of a light smoke would fit well, but unfortunately, from a lot of the pictures and a lot of the screenshots I made from like some background videos that I've been watching and things, he actually had no tint on the car. So me personally, just go with none. I think it looks really nice, nice and clean. I think it would look a little bit better with the window tint, but again, that's my personal opinion. And, you know, they kind of pushed away from the window tint as well in the later movies. So it's kind of sad, but uh, they're just kind of pushing more away from the i don't know street racer type vibes to it you know so yeah none is the best option in my personal opinion for this build all right and i'll see you guys in two seconds with a roll steel primer color all right and we're back as you can see i have my car in my primer out rolled steel pretty much what i always do as a basic color to work off of and to kind of show you what colors i actually choose from again this is going to be two colors an lsc color and a custom crew color so take your choice on which one you want to use or which one you want to do the custom crew color will be on for a full day if not longer unless other people request other colors so yeah take advantage of it while you can otherwise you can request it and i'll always put it back on for you have a little bit of patience because there is a lot of people that want certain colors so get done with the color as fast as you can and move on from there so we're going to start off with the lsc color first and we're just going to go with that so go to the primary color you want to go down to metallics and you want to go down and you want to go to the midnight blue after that, you want to go down to the pearlescence, and you want to make sure it is on a racing blue. So when you purchase this midnight blue, the pearlescent for the midnight blue is the racing blue, and that is the blue that I actually have on my main build. After that, move on to the secondary color, go down to metallics, and make sure you go down and equip the midnight blue. And there you go. The LSC color customization is done. It looks really nice. It's a nice dark blue, but it does have that little bit of accent with the brighter blue and everything. I was actually thinking about going with an ultra blue, and I actually did go for a regular blue at points. But the regular blue is a little bit too dark, and the ultra blue is a little bit too bright. A mixture or kind of like in-between middle color that me and Bad Sport kind of talked about was a racing blue he called it bright blue i kind of find that a little bit funny because there actually is room color that of that yeah the racing blue pearlescent is the best option for the pearlescent and the midnight blue is definitely a really good viable option for the lsc color now if you want to go with my custom crew color i will put the hex code on screen right now as well as the rgb and hex code down in the description below like i always do so we're going to go back to the primary, we're going to go to the crew, and you're going to see it change a very slight amount. So I'm going to go uh, probably right about here, and you're going to see it change, like I said, a very slight amount. My custom crew color is a little bit more darker, but it does fit really well for the build, and I kind of base it after an actual picture of the real-life car at a certain point. So in three, two, one... I know you barely saw it change, you probably didn't even see it change at all. You can kind of see it as I flip through it right here. It just kind of makes it a little bit darker. I mean, like I said, if you don't want to do the custom crew color, you're more than welcome to use metallic midnight blue as well as a racing blue pearlescent. But me, I'm just going to use my custom crew color. You know me, I love my custom crew colors. So we're going to apply them on the both the primary and the secondary. And then you're probably thinking, well, what pearlescent do you have on it? It's the same pearlescent for either the LSC color or my custom crew color. Just a nice racing blue. 
I think it turns out really nice. It makes a little bit more accent color. You still get that nice dark blue on the side and like the main color, but then like certain sunlight and everything, it does kind of shine a little bit more of a brighter blue. So racing blue pearlescent is my best choice for that. And that is it. That's how you recreate Jacob Toretto's 2015 Ford Mustang GT350 from F9 or Fast and Furious 9. I think it turned out pretty decent. I don't think it really turned out terrible. It's what we have in GT Online that I got to work with. So I think it turned out semi viable i do wish it that it had a livery option i know in like older style cars and things they actually add the liveries to them like the zentorno the banshee and things just like the regular versions of them and i mean why didn't they add you know kind of like stripes to this car like some muscle car stripes or something which it kind of would fit really well maybe some flames or something i mean they could have pretty much added anything they really wanted to so again i still think it turned out great you guys can let me know what you think about it down in the comment section down below so anyways, let's go back to our parking spot. All right, and uh, let's go outside. All right, so guys, it is daytime out. I'm going to do a little spin for you guys in the daytime. So you can kind of see it has a little bit of a blick of blue shine to it. But then when you come over here in the shadows, it kind of has that nice dark look to it that it's supposed to look like. I mean, I think the color turned out decent. I don't think it's 100% accurate, but it's about as good as I can get it with the pearlescence that they give me and all that stuff. So overall, I'm happy with it, and uh, you guys can let me know what you think. Let's go for the drive, as we always do. So we'll uh, go take it on the highway. I'm also going to show you guys the rev limiter as well. So, you know, it's not going to... It's still got the, the power limiter, I guess you could say. So watch this. So as I zoom in here, the first person... The speedometer is in the middle. The revs are on the side, on the right, which is weird because it, it works in reverse, I guess. Like, there's no numbers there. You can see where the arrow's moving. All right, so we're going to start. And then, uh, as you can see, it's not... The speedometer is not moving after I double clutch. Most other cars, once you double clutch, it actually goes faster. But unfortunately, this thing, it doesn't live up to a ford mustang or dodge charger especially from i would say fast and furious so again i'll show you like ducking down real quick hold on watch see how it doesn't increase in speed or do like a wheel spin or anything like if i do it again It like it wants to go fast, but unfortunately, they still have the limiter on this thing, like the handling flags and everything on this. But they did fix a few cars, but they didn't fix them all apparently. So I just now learned about this when I was actually testing this car out and everything. Look at that blue. I think that blue looks really nice. Maybe it's too dark for you guys. Maybe not. Like I said, you guys can use whatever colors you wish. I think this looks the closest to the real life build and real life colors. This is dangerous as all hell. But yeah, I think this thing turned out, I, like I said, overall pretty decent. It would look 100% better if I could have a white stripe right down the middle. Just one solid big white stripe down the middle. Even a small white stripe down the middle would be great. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up the video. So as always, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down in the comment section down below for what build you'd like to see next. And yeah, that is uh, that's pretty much going to be it. So yeah, don't ask me how I got up here in Polito Bay. I just went for a drive. Just thinking about what I wanted to talk about. There are links down in the description below for my Twitter, Discord, and the crew. The custom crew color, like custom blue I came up with, will be on for at least a day, if not longer. No one requests any custom crew colors. But if you guys do request custom crew colors and I change it for you, please get done with it as soon as possible. I have a lot of people that actually request and want certain colors on. And as soon as you get done, I can change it for them. So be respectful. You know, be nice to others. And um, yeah, just... Let me know when you're done. Just leave a comment down in the comment section when I say I change it. You say you're done, and we'll be good. Yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the love and support, as always. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.